guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my first review of a game. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Fallout 3. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Fallout 3. That's right, guys. Fallout 3. Okay, so this the reason I'm reviewing this game is because I think it deserves a lot more attention. Even though it got a lot, I think it needs a little bit more. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let me get into it here. Um, excuse me for just a second. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I had to do something. So I'm just covering up the name of the reviewers because I don't know if that's illegal or not. So sorry, you have to bear with me there. So there's all the stuff, guys. It's the back. I'll just show you the back and stuff. Um, this might not. This part might not be the review. I don't know. If you're showing what I'm doing here, okay. Okay, now we're going to move on to the DLC. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is my favorite, personal favorite DLC, which is the Fallout 3 um, add -on, game add-on pack, uh, Broken Steel and Point Lookout, probably my favorite DLC packs ever. Great DLC absolutely great so yeah pick this up either download it digitally or there's two ways to get it download it digitally or buy like I did disk base because I didn't really have a an online account right at that point of uh, having an Xbox okay so I'm just gonna show you guys the back real quick there it is it's kinda hard to see you can't even read it but there's all the cool little shits you probably just can pause the video if you really wanted to see it Okay, move on. Uh, the final one I'm going to show you guys is the other one, which is The Pit and Operation Anchorage. And this one was a pretty fun DLC. It wasn't the greatest DLC I've ever played in my life, but it was a pretty good one. So that's The Pit and Operation Anchorage. Um, yeah, that's... Let me show you the back. That's about all this review is going to consist of. Probably is me just showing you guys the back of these games. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know why it like spells everything backwards. I think it's just BS in this. Except for the M. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's... Even the lettering, it's weird. Okay, anyway. Alright. So, now on to the review. So, the reason I decided to review this game is because I thought it was it's a good game. Um... Now, I'm just going to be stating my own opinion on the game. First of all, I've played through the entire game at least three times. And I've done almost all the missions that I know about, or I think I know about. You know, I mean, I'm a good karma guy in the game. Fun game, fun game. The, uh, dlc -er. mm. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, um... So I'm just going to go into some technical stuff about the games and stuff and what happens sometimes. So I want to talk about glitches first, really, before I get into the main premise. Well, I'll get into the main premise, actually. The main premise of the game is you come from a vault in the ground, and you are looking for your dad. And you go to a lot of towns and stuff. And what the story eventually does is have you actually saving the capital wasteland in order, you know, and then the game basically ended on that point, which pissed a lot of people off, and I could see why. You know, I got a little bit pissy at it, even after seeing the gameplay of this. But then this DLC came out, Broken Steel. Um, I actually got this when they were released for a while, so they were pretty cheap to pick up. I picked them up pretty cheap. It was pretty cheap. Yeah. Oh, uh, so now that I've went over the main premise of it, I'm going to go over the premise of the DLCs, too. Uh, I'll start with the DLC. So, Broken Steel is basically adding on to the Fallout 3 main quest line universe. Um, it adds new weapons. My favorite being the freaking Ion Cannon thing. It's called the Ion Cannon for some reason. I can't remember what it's called now. What it does is, um, I've actually found this out from a gaming guy. I used to watch YouTube videos like that. What it does, I noticed that he, like, would use VATS, which is another system that probably I'll talk about, or not, I don't know. And he would just peg it, and then he'd shoot at it, and it would go perfect hit. So, yeah, that's one way if you guys are looking for a good weapon 
good weapon. I've definitely put more than 150 hours, uh, more than 150. Good game, Broken Steel and the, the main operation. Um, and then I got Point Lookout. That was a pretty fun one. I gotta admit it, I did complete it, I think, once or twice. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, I still gotta play through them again. I, I really love them. They're pretty fun. Okay, so that's this one done. I know there's more. There's more. There's always more. Let me just close. So here's the other one. The Pit and Operation Anchorage. Now here's where the glitches really come into play in this game series in my opinion. Operation Anchorage. Or not Operation Anchorage. The Pit. I'm sure we've all seen the flying glitchy thing that flies over your character's head about a million times. There's oh, another weird glitch where, like, sometimes the game, I don't know if this is just the, the DLC or if it's the game itself, but, like, if you look in a certain angle, it'll go gray or something, it'll freak out, you have to reload your save. No, nope, it's not that big of a deal, but, I mean, it's, it's just a little bit concerning, but, yeah, that's pretty much all that that is that, and, yeah, so that's the pit. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, it's for Operation Anchorage. Operation Anchorage, now... It was short. Very short. Didn't add much to the game at all, really. Except for some overpowered weapons and such, but, you know, it was an okay DLC. I give it a decent rating, probably, if you ask me. Okay, so that's the DLC. As for the game itself, definitely worth just picking this up. I think it's like 15 bucks, less than that, probably 10, if I had to guess. 20 bucks max. I think I picked this up for like 20 bucks. Great game. Love the hell out of it. I kept playing it for like ever. And yeah. Hmm. This is, oh, sorry, I was just being something. So yeah, guys. Um, so my final review of all these games. You know, let's get them out on a little par. Because I like to display them for some weird reason. I got that fetish or something going on. The Fallout fetish. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's one last thing actually I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick. Uh, this came with my uh, the Pit and Operation Anchorage DLC, and I just thought it'd be a cool little idea to show you guys this because I got some time I think. It's the uh, Fallout 3 poster, and I didn't know it was gonna come with this actually. I was quite surprised. And what is it? It just tells the characters and uh, the attributes you can get in the game. Pretty cool. Okay, let's see another map. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not getting paid for this. I just like doing reviews on this kind of stuff now. I'm going to start doing that more often. This one. Oh, that was the original game. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to just get all these games out online because I still got an extra minute. So. Okay, so here's that, here's that. Here's this. I don't know where to put it exactly. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so my total review of all the DLCs... Oh, that's from Mothership of Zeta. It was a pretty boring DLC, if I had to say so. Uh, Fallout 3, I give it, and this is my rating, this isn't anyone else's rating, a 9.2 out of 10. Uh, pluses, lots of gameplay advantages. Lots of things to do in the Capital Wasteland. Downside is that it's got a few glitches that would have been nice if they could have painted those out. Otherwise, I would have rated this a 10 out of 10. But yeah, that's my review of Fallout 3 as well as the DLC. So I hope you guys like my review. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Which I don't think anyone has besides one guy. <laughs> but yeah, so... Um, I don't think there's anything else. No, that's it, actually. All right, guys, so that's my first ever review. Leave a comment. Give me some constructive criticism if I did something wrong. And I would gladly, or I'd be very happy to hear. But for now, guys, gotta go. See you in the Capital Wasteland.